Hey everybody, welcome to Raidcraft. Raidcraft is a survival multiplayer server that me and a bunch of my friends um, decided to make. And it includes, I don't think, a single member from the Oracle SMP. So we're getting brand new members. Um, these members are Burrito Man555, Shrey the Goat, Ipon, Guy at 27, AT, Talogy, Marstel, and of course, me. Now, Raidcraft works just a little bit differently than your standard Minecraft survival vanilla server. It has data packs, resource packs, and mods. Now, the mods we have are not modded in Minecraft where we get some fancy new explosive or something. It's simple voice chat and schematica. Basically, things that, in my opinion, should already be in Minecraft, such as proximity chat, voice mod. That's really cool, in my opinion. So now I'm able to troll my friends in game. So we have that. And the Schematica mod is a mod that's it's kind of like a Lego set manual. I've heard a lot of people call it. And basically it lays down ghost blocks. Blocks that aren't there, but you can see them. And you basically place it by hand and you go layer by layer until you build what you were trying to build. So basically it just helps you if you build something in creative and you want to build it in survival mode on the server, you can put it in the schematic and build it based on that. So that's the, those are the only two mods we have. And none of them are game breaking mods now we also have data packs and i think the only data pack we have are just vanilla tweaks and then things like mob heads player drops uh mini blocks all those types of stuff i'll have a link to that folder in the description below and we also have a lot of resource packs like we have a lot so this is every single resource pack the server uses um we use a fantasy weapon set I'm not going to try to pronounce this guy's name, but there will be a link in the description below for both these, as well as the sombrero hat for you'll meet soon, Burrito Man 555, and his, that's basically his hat. We also have the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack that makes Minecraft Dark Mode and a bunch of other things, link in the description as well. Fresh animations, and that's basically it. So we use, I think, four or five different resource packs on the server, which is a lot. Now, the last thing on episode zero, episode is gonna be a really short one because episode zero is basically just, what is Raidcraft? It's not really the first official episode. I'm really just trying to show you guys what we've done in the past two weeks because I didn't start recording this up until now because I want to be honest, I hate watching the first couple of days in a video. It just seems boring to me. I don't like seeing people gather resources without some efficient way to doing it. I don't know why. It just I don't like it, so I don't want to make it. I don't make the content. So I decided, you know what? I'll wait two weeks. I'll start making content then. So it's two weeks later, and I'm making this intro, and we're going to do a little bit of a world tour. So you guys are going to see what everyone's done in the past two weeks and basically start our series based on that. So episode zero is how this server works and a world tour. Episode 1 will be our first official doing stuff in Minecraft. Anyway, we're going to be starting off with my base. And my base is this little house on top of the entirety of Raidcraft. And again, it's only been two weeks, so we haven't done too much. But this is my house. And I really want to try to work a little bit more with my building styles. Because if you saw the Oracle two years ago, I was really just starting to get into building then. I was... To be honest, I really just built for fun before then, but trying to learn all these new ideas for building is something I personally want to start doing in this series. So that's basically where I started. I went in creative and I started building up a house in creative mode and then I used Schematica to build this up in survival. So the outside is pretty self-explanatory. I use a basic gray scaled variant where it starts with our with some dark gray blocks and moves its way up to light gray. And I use spruce as the roof because it just seems like a very, it's spirit, let's be honest. Spruce works with anything. But I wanted to make something a little bit green because it did look really like gr um, brown and gray. So it didn't look the best. So I decided to add some mossy parts on in the roofs in places. So I think that adds a nice little touch to the base. Now I want to head into the interior. Wait a minute, what is this? I'm watching you. Strange. So let's enter the house now. So let's open up the double door, close it behind us, and you'll see that we have a nice little desk here to our left as we enter in. And it has a cartography table, which I think I have used once in the history of Minecraft. So I probably will not use it here, but uh, it's there if I need it. Now this basically main lobby area is for my eventual chest monster, because knowing me, I'm going to overflow with the amount of chest I have. 
I have like, I think like a stack of chests in this base, and I guarantee that's not going to be enough for the amount of materials we're going to be using in this series. So that's that's the sad thing is we're going to need another room for this. Anyway, if we come over to here, we have a nice little chest room. Where we store basically just sand and gravel in right now. We have a nice little like workshop area. It has some smokers to cook my food, a stone cutter, and a furnace array here. Why do I need this many furnace? I don't know. I just thought it would look cool. Anyway, if we head over here, we have another room in which this is my valuables chest. And I, I did a lot of mining for copper. Anyway, if we head upstairs here, we can enter the second out of the three floors. We have a nice little pool, which I used to have an axolotl in, but uh, I don't know how they work, so it died. That, that's, I think, the saddest things. My axolotl died because I don't know how, how axolotls work. Do they, need, do they need air or do they need only water? Or do they need both? Because if it, they need both. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, so this is my little bedroom area. So I have my nice little green bed. And matches the color of my shirt. With the nice little potted plant. My inner chest full of all my goodies. My valuables. My main valuables chest, I should say. Look at all these diamonds. And over here, we have some hidden barrels that I barely use. Basically just junk, to be honest. But over here, we have a nice little enchantment area. This is probably one of my favorite parts of my house because I can look at my custom tree I built over here and just basically, it's so cozy. It, this is the most cozy base I think I've ever built. I'm really proud of it too. So in here, yeah, basically just enchantment room. We have a nice little crafting view. We can see what's going on. Got a nice little sugar cane. Tray the goats base. Burrito boy. Anyway. I head up to the third and final room. I wanted to have this weird looking staircase here. I mean, it worked. And now we have a nice little brewing area. I had a cauldron here and some more stairs, but I don't know where they went. Anyway, we have, again, a way of brewing. And this is honestly probably the most useful thing that I've used for a resource pack is telling me how to brew potions. Thank you, Vanilla Tweaks, because I do not know how to brew potions. Every single time I need to brew any potion, I just had to constantly look it up. So now I can just right click and it's not there. Take tips, Mojang. Make this in the actual game. I don't have to download a resource pack for this. Anyway, this is where you saw the intro is upstairs. It's just like a nice little intro spot, I guess. I just sit on my couch and record intros and edit videos. So that's basically my plan for this area. But that's my base. So let's move on to someone else's base. And I think we know exactly whose base to go and see. I'm even on a call with them right now. So let's, uh, let's scare him. What's poppin'? You like my horse? I love your horse. What is this beautiful sea biscuit? Do you know how to get off the horse? Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay. All right. What's going on over here? So we all got over here. We got MTV Crib 5.0. You gotta read the other one. I'm not reading this one. So we're gonna head into your house. All right. Say hi to my my Chib. This is uh this is Burrito Man's dog in real life. His name is actually Chib. Picture is on screen Do now. Do you like my sombrero? You have an armor stand with your own hat? You already have your yeah. hat on. Why do you need another one? Yeah, is it your spare? That's my, that's, my, that's my emergency one. If I die okay. and I like fall in lava. Oh, yeah, we also got, hold on, we got another hat. We got another we got hat? Wardrobe, wardrobe change real quick. I can't see the other hats, by the way. I My resource pack is not on. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that's the, that's the thick, this is the thickest source racks. So what do you say when you hit someone? You just got thick source wrecked, bro. You heard it here. Yeah, is, you got thick source wrecked. This, this is the best part of the house. The fact that you can, that you can sleep on the ground. On the ground. Hold on, now we gotta go to the most important part and the most valuable part. The most Someone valuable the part. See, okay. We got my bed. This isn't very important. Some a basic bed. Around. Nice little anvil. Got, Let's go right here. We got the gold. I'm gonna break this. I want Are they named? No. No. Is it, is it named Golden AirPods? Yeah. How much did these cost? $450,000. Okay, what does that translate into Minecraft Diamonds? Uh, too many to count. Okay. Oh, I got furnaces here. I didn't even see these. There's nothing in them. Yeah. What's the point of these then? I don't know. My main furnaces are down here. My main furnace. I think you just call it furnace. I don't think it's fur and I, but who cares? All right, this is a pretty litty base. Oh, wait. No, we're not done, are we? But this is just your house. You got more yeah, than just a house. We gotta go around back. 
What got, is this? We got uh, the super amazing. You got the dirt stripe. All right, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Enchantment room. <This> is <laughs> There's no floor. This is... <laughs> it was. It's a work in progress still. Yeah, we gotta come this way. And oh, what's over here? Is this, this is this the uh, entrance? We have to go like this. <laughs> Gotta crawl through. Oh, there's a door right here. <laughs> yeah, but I went the wrong way. Uh, here's my here's my sugar cane farm. This it was supposed to be a villager carrot farm thing, but it's not. It became a sugar cane farm. And okay. if we venture at the door, we got my tater farm. Your taters. Your taters. Yeah, but we really quickly gotta before we get to the the best part, we gotta run over here. Okay, where are we going over here? Gotta, this is where the. Uh, the storage of my pretty sure you can make this a little bit more efficient <laughs> i could but whatever now, all right this is this is hold on this is this the works part and the best part of my my base where are we going where are we going this way the last best part of the base the best part i thought we've already had best parts yeah whatever <laughs> this is this is my axolotl this, this is the best bet oh because my gosh small, and he just swims in circles it's like a one-legged duck it's all he knows how to do is swim in a circle what do you mean a one-legged duck? Have you never heard the saying, does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? No. Oh, uh, well, he just swims in circles. Is that an actual uh, saying? Yeah, uh, that's the MTV Crib Tour. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Think a source wrecked. So now that we've done Burrito Man's base, we have another member, as you can tell in the call. Shrey the Goat. And we're gonna go see what he's doing. I don't know what this guy does. Anyway, let's go undeafen, and he's gonna do us a base tour for us. All right, you're here to show me your base. Let's see. Uh, Come down yeah. here. So is this, so this is the entrance? The front, of course, of course. All right, you got a nice. So, got our gate. <laughs> you know, we got those. Japan, right? And the balloons. Yeah. It's Japanese. I don't know what I was for, but I All right. It's so loud. Give me a second. I gotta turn down my audio. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm like mass producing owls and sheep. No, because like, I'm turning my music sound off. These people like cows. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I really like the, the style right. of the forest. I just like how the forest engulfs your base from the front. The back is a little bit more of a mess. Yeah. We, we don't talk about the back right just in now. traditional um, minecraft just survival farm. fashion ignore the back yes all Here's right my farm it's pretty small uh it's temporary and if you come over here i have a tiny little campfire this is amazing uh, this is my do. favorite part on the server just sitting in this campfire uh, anyway this is the main base your this is your temple is the first floor uh yeah it's my temple you collected a full set of chainmail armor? Yeah, that's from the mob farm. But yeah. Okay, okay. Got a nice little so smoker right area, nice little better. bamboo shoot. Come up here, come up here. Okay, that's my smoker. No, not my what? bedroom. Right? Um, Can I ask, funny, why is this man staring at you in your sleep? Alright, all right, perfect timing. Um, <laughs> this is like the best view in the whole server. Yeah. There's a squid down there. That's pretty cool. Uh. Alright, well, the squid. Look at this sunset. You got that bamboo, you got the sun, you got all these trees, you got the lanterns. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Alright, let's go. Uh, and then top is just my storage area. Um. They're handle. empty. Oh. oh yeah, I, what is up with every staircase um, having someone creepily watch you in every floor? Um, you know, I try to have an open space. Also, I have this can I just too. can I just drop down? Oh. Uh, uh yeah. Good luck, being up. Yeah. So you call professional Minecraft oh, yeah, play? No, I messed up again. Food. Okay, I'll get out of this eventually. You wanna, like... I did it. Okay. Yeah. Follow me. And, um, you know, I'm part of the saving cult, obviously, you got, you got a yep. saving cult. Um, so we can go around here, you know, get a good view of everything. Get this this is a good view to you? I'm getting smacked in the face with leaves, ugh. Um, oh. Ugh. Oh. Sorry, we can but... always see, we can always see big, easy eyes. 
base. What's Burrito Boy doing up there? Burrito Man's butt up there. All right, that's your base. That's it. Yeah. It's all of it. You sure? sure? Nothing else you worked on? Oh. Uh, no. uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm starting another base, but um, I'm probably gonna sell it to another person. But I can still show you though. Let's let's go look at it. It's not done yet, but. Oh, is this it? I didn't see this yet. Yeah, this thing. I'm gonna sleep before I get attacked by monsters. I mean, All right, let's um, look at this. So yeah, this is gonna be like a like a lake house. You know, got a good bridge over here. Where's the bridge? Um, you know, uh, it's not done yet. Oh okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I can sell this for like maybe thirty-two diamonds. I would say, you know, just half a stack floor. for a free base. Yeah, I can just buy this and use it as a storage unit. I'm not though. Yeah, you could. You could. What's this? Oh, it's just terrain. All right. Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna go uh, finish the tour, this but big, easy guys, big maybe the... I've already toured my base. All right. Well, I think AT hope... base. Oh yeah, A AT Talji. I call him AT and T because I don't know how to pronounce his name properly. So oh, like... you, should, you, should, you should show Ipon's base as well. Obviously. This is his, his base is right here. Okay. So this is Ipon's yeah, base, his uh, his tree. It says, do not cut down. He's got nice little golden mini block heads. Okay, yeah. this nice little ladder. Ow. And he's got the pet zombies. And uh, um, it'll work really in progress. Good, huh? We love it. We love to see work in progresses. Oh, there's a chest. You gotta be nosy. Just cobblestone? All right, I know what to come to steal that later. Um, over That's here, we have... Is that full diamond armor zombie? Enchanted as well. That's amazing. That's like, how did you get this? Did, do they One naturally spawn with diamonds, thing. or did you put this on them? No, that that was a naturally spawning thing, bro. Like, I don't want to tell you. That's amazing. We're gonna probably finish this tour. Let's uh. Oh oh, I'm getting shot at. There's a skeleton up there. Yeah. Why is there just like no trapdoor? Why is it a force? His oh. base is really hard to get out of, by the way. Oh there. All right, we are able, yeah. we are able to get out. Everything's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, AT and T. Let's be this AT and T boy. So AT and T has got this beehive dock octagon looking thing. Um. Is that even, that's a hex. Yeah, I don't know what this octagon. is. Well, it's got like the. Is this There's not? A hole in the middle. And he's, he stole all my bees, bro. Give me my bees back. These are the bees. These are all, These are bees. all the berry bents. Uh oh. Anyway, thank you to Shrey the Goat and Burrito Man for showing their bases to me, as well as taking part in other people's bases getting toward who are currently not online as we are all very busy in real life at the moment so getting on to play minecraft with each other is a little bit harder than you think to schedule so it's always a blast when we all can get on and play with each other so yeah and this is definitely a work in progress as because he hasn't been on since the first day of the server and he built this anyway we have a little bit more left of the video and like i said the closet will be saved for the End of the video where I will talk about what closet, what's inside my closet. But we have a f just, I think, two or three more locations we have to go to. And the first one is the Creeper Farm. Now, here it is the Creeper Farm. This is something I needed to build for legitimately like a week, and I didn't build it. And I cooked complaining that I didn't have rockets. So eventually, I became what some people would call not a child and started to gather some stone to start building this monstrosity of a farm up now i can always expand it more left right basically just make this as big as i want but for now i think one's enough for the server because i've gotten every single rocket i have ever used from this farm basically well except for this rockets i used to make it but it's i mean i could afk for like 20 minutes and get the rockets i need for the entire day so that's good enough for me. But if you guys want to see how this works, we can just head up top here. 
and basically just AFK in the middle of this little sandwich of glass. So if we stand right in the middle where this torch is, we have this little redstone like timer. So every single time it hits the middle, which is about that repeater right there, it hits a, dis or a dropper and it dispenses water. Or not a dropper, what is it called? The thing that dispenses things. The dispenser, no wonder why it's called that. So it hits a dispenser and it dispenses water buckets and it pushes all the creepers and spiders out of it. Now, I have spiders in the farm because, first of all, I was too lazy to go get glass to put the glass in the farm. Second of all, string is something that builders use a lot to get rid of snow and mob spawning and things like that. So I'm going to want string for myself. So I decided to just make this a creeper and spider farm, as well as I can get spider eyes for the villager farm, which we're going to have to do at some point. And... I think this all in all this farm has basically a lot of uses than just gunpowder now if we fly out here and we could we maybe be we'll be able to look at all the mobs yeah look at them look at all these mobs look at them now the dispenser just dispense water they all come flying down they all come in this little chute and they basically die to the soul campfires all their drops end up here so it's uh, it works pretty well but again it could definitely be, we could definitely make it faster let's just say that but this is uh, as fast as I'm willing to make it for now, because it's all I need. Anyway, as I fly out of the creeper farm, I'm going to head to the next location on the list, and that is the Ender Ender. Actually, I take that back. We're not going to go to the Ender Ender. We're going to actually head to the little bit of the workstation area of Spawn City, and that is the Villager Training Hall, the very scuffed one for now. Um, we're going to be probably doing something later with villagers, probably in a few weeks. We'll move these guys, make a home for them, get a huge villager trading system working on the server. So we'll probably do that at some point, but we're not doing it now because I really want to get building in this game. I really want to start terraforming around my house versus work with the most annoying things in Minecraft. So uh, yeah, we'll save these guys for later. Anyway, moving on to the next location, we have the most cursed thing I think I've seen in Minecraft as being, I've had a redstone background, for a little bit now so my original plan for starting my big easy eye channel was not to make the oracle lsmp video it was actually to make redstone tutorial videos on basic contraptions that i thought of so i know how to make like simple like a, a double piston extender whatever you call it like a, a piston door i know how to make some basic things like that but basically beyond that i don't know much about redstone especially when it comes to making farms zero clue how you make them and uh, I would definitely love to learn how people make this sort of stuff. So if you have any uh, tips on how to do redstone, then make sure to tell me. Anyway, if I hit this tripwire hook and I think I step down, it like glitches the tripwire. It's strange. It gives me like two tripwire hooks. So I think it's like a tripwire duplicator. But the strange thing is this shouldn't be possible because tripwire hooks can only go on solid blocks. So if I place a sign here, it can't go on this but it can go on this. So if I flip this up and I flip it back down, it breaks it, you see? So, it's just weird. That's just all I'm saying, is it's just a little strange. I can just walk through this and all these tripwires get activated. So it's just very strange. I don't understand how this works at all. Another contraption of Shrey the Goat. I think the Shrey the Goat is probably the most advanced with the redstone on our server. So, it'll definitely be interesting to see what he makes with redstone, if he ever does make anything with redstone. But, if we turn our attention to the left here, or where is it actually? I think it's more this way, actually. Yeah, it's right over here. We have a little hole in the middle of the earth, and this leads down to our zombie spawner. This is what we used before we had an ender ender for experience. And this basically is just a basic enchantment area and a place where you can harvest zombies. We also had a bunch of AFK machines and just more storage to store items all over this place. It's a mess down here, but it got the job done. So if we wait here for a little bit, we might be able to get some uh, zombie spawns. Alright, I'm sick of waiting. I'm not waiting in there any longer. There's no zombie spawning, but trust me, that's where we used to get our XP. Oh, look, I hear him now. You hear him? Yep, yeah, look, see you there. You could hit him, get some basic experience points. That's what we used basically until we went to the Ender Dragon fight. And it was painful. Let's just say that. It was painfully slow. Especially when there's more than literally one person on it. It didn't work. As you saw right there. It took forever for two zombies to spawn. 
So we're going to head to the next location. And I think this is the final one. And that is the Ender Ender. Now, in order to get there, we actually go through the nether because our stronghold is like 3,000 blocks away for some reason. I don't know why. But if we head into the end here, or not the end, the nether, <laughs> we head left or right, it looks like. We're going to probably do another path that way for something. I don't know. Someone started this path. I don't know what this is for. But if we head this way, we'll head to the end. So we just fly down here. We could hit a little stop so we don't hit our head on that wall and keep flying this way. We hit another nether portal, and this should bring us to the stronghold. Now, this actually brings us above an island in which the stronghold is located. The stronghold is located basically in the middle of the ocean on this island. And it's a pretty big island, but it's small at the same time. But our job is not to view the island, it's to actually go to the end. So we head down this little path here. We have a little chute that I made that leads us directly down to a water pit, which is right next to the end portal. Isn't this amazing? We have a nice little bed to set your spawn in case you are anything like Burrito Man and die constantly to Enderman, which is okay because I think we all have died constantly to Enderman. At least I have. So if we head over here, we can fly to the Ender Ender. So that's our spawn, and this is where we fought the dragon. Of course, because we're all Minecraft professionals, we had to use so much water to the point where we barely flooded the place, but to the point where it's annoying to walk around. So enjoy future me for cleaning that up. Because I'm not looking forward to that at all. But if we fly over here, we head to a basic ender ender design. So if we fly underneath here, we have a nice little enchantment room. With a grindstone and anvil. Basically a bunch of basic Minecraft stuff. Uh, a chest to store your ender pearls. I think that dispenses the ender pearls. And the most loud thing in Minecraft. Oh, you hear your ears piercing right now, can't you? Get that sweet XP. Look how much more efficient this is than a zombie farm. Look at this. It's amazing. And where did I end up? Oh, shoot. Hello. What? Wait, what's wrong with me? I'm stuck in fly mode. On Earth? What's wrong with me? What? <laughs> I'm like a fish out of water. I'm taking damage as well. What? I'm so confused. Can I do a barrel roll? Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Eh. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? This looks so weird. What on earth? I can't even use rockets. It won't even let me use rockets. Look. I'm, lo I'm trying to use them. It won't let me. Look. What is going on? Why, why can't I die? Oh. Oh, I'm normal again. Strange. Um, we're gonna head right out here and just fly right into the outro. So, if you guys enjoyed episode zero at all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll like something at the end of the video because I'm no longer wasting your time. If you liked it, then you would probably want to know when I upload again. So, I say that at the end of my videos every single time. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in a couple of weeks for episode one. See ya.